Hey everybody, Beyond Your TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Zoo Design Series. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and look at some more of the uh, concept art from zoos there. Some more concept art, um, blueprints, you name it. Um, Y'all seem to really, really enjoy that first episode where we checked that out. Um, and even like the uh, second episode, which we're gonna do another part of, um, where we looked at the real life zoos from Google Maps. So yeah, just, uh, but uh, yeah, again, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue the concept art um, look arounds today. So today's theme, we're just gonna kind of jump right into it. Uh, today's theme is going to be underwater viewing. Um, we kind of, uh, if you played the Planet Zoo beta or watched some of it, um, that's probably why you're here, um, you'll know that we are able to um, pull off some underwater viewing. And uh, you see this in, in zoos a lot, a lot, a lot. There's a ton of examples. And um, uh, it seems like uh, the more that um, zoos are planning out, the more they're incorporating um, these underwater viewing areas or just these kind of side panel viewing um, into like uh, half underwater, half not underwater. So yeah, that's how we go ahead and uh, take a look at some of them there, so. Okay, so here's our first image here, and this is straight up concept art there. So um, we have our nice Bengal tiger exhibit here, and you can really see that um, for this one especially, and you're gonna notice that a lot with some of the uh, images I found, um, I, I kind of harp on, you know, the real and um, budget and lore and all that stuff right here but you can kind of tell from this underwater um, or side view um, viewing that they have gone all out with uh, their theming and everything and the budget and everything it's kind of been um, thrown at the wall so that um, you can almost assume that this may be a private zoo because they have a little bit more money it looks like for theming and stuff but uh, you can't always assume who knows so um, but yeah it's really really great here you can see how they've incorporated um, literally just transporting the guest into this area right so you literally have um, here's your supports up top here for the top of the glass panel right and right here is probably another support um, in between the two glass panels and look how how they've uh, they've you know incorporated these logs and uh, trees and just lush foliage all over and we can definitely pull this off in Planet Zoo um, if you're not aware uh, we have node fencing and the node fencing it shows up invisible um, it is still there the animals would still recognize it but all you have to do is kind of cover it up with what you want and I had a few people asking about this during the beta I'm kind of confused about the node fencing so again just kind of picture the node fencing right here where um, we would put the node fencing down and then we could take you know these tree trunks a tree anything just put everything where the node fencing is cover it up as if it is a fence um, and yeah we could accomplish something just like that some more things to take away from here um, this is very theme parky is uh, if you look at the ground here and we can kind of pull this off in Planet Zoo, um, but you see you have these trees just going straight out of the ground here. And so we can use our natural um, pathways, our natural walkways in Planet Zoo. Um, if you didn't know that, there are natural walkways in the regular path there. And um, yeah, we can, you know, you can slap down some trees and stuff like that right in the middle there. And, um, and you know, it'll uh, it'll work out fine as long as scenery collision is uh, turned off so we can get um, just exactly looking like this. And I love how it kind of goes, looks like it's gonna wrap around a little bit so you can see the back side of the uh, habitat right back behind this. Uh, waterfall oh it's a zoo because so have to have a waterfall right so um but no again i just think this is a great um incorporation of the natural land that the bengal tigers would be from so like a tropical rainforest kind of feel for it and incorporating it into your um your underwater viewing area here so there you go there let's go ahead and go to the next one here we are it looks like a penguin point we're gonna call it penguin point I want to build Penguin Point now. <laughs> um, but this is great because uh, this shows a few things going on here. So this looks like, let's say this is your kind of main entrance right throughout this area here. And you can kind of see how um, they've purposely have this underwater, uh, half underwater viewing area right here because that's kind of a good focal point, right? So as you kind of walk towards, you know, if you put yourself down into the guest view, you'll be seeing this, um, this water right here. Um, but you can see over here, there's a little hill that goes up and then it looks like there's a bridge over here. Um, this hill actually might be connected to this bus it looks like a bus up here a little bit blurry but we can still kind of tell so maybe um, guests can't walk up there but just you know you still get different perspectives if you were to ride this tour bus it looks like um, and you go up and over this way and again from the um, looks like the pathway kind of moves up a little bit because if you see these people over here in comparison to down here um, yeah it looks like this pathway goes up in um, elevation there because these people are kind of almost looking down into um, the um, habitat the exhibit there for our penguins so again um, different 
playing uh, with different elevations. So you kind of come in here and you're, you know, again, you see this gentleman here and uh, kids and stuff. They are at, you know, they're smaller. They're uh, shorter than the glass there. And then slight elevation up into looking over it now. So two different elevation changes. It gives you a whole bunch of different views of the um, of the habitat there. And um, another really cool thing here, you know, um, you can see that they've thought of, uh, looks like handicap entrances. And um, that's something um, that I've thought of when designing theme parks. You kind of have to think of that for like exit ways. You know, if there's stairs, you know, we have to think of everybody. Um, not everyone can, you know, use access of stairs for multiple reasons. Um, so speaking theme park wise, um, those guests would have to come in through the exit of the path or the ride usually, or you take an elevator up to the ride station. No exception for zoos as well, right? Um, you know, we want all of our guests to enjoy um, the zoo as much as we can there. So you can kind of see here where these people are walking down a set of stairs, you know, down into our underwater viewing. But up here we have a upper uh Pier or not pier, upper plaza. And, you know, I'm betting that if you go over here, it almost looks like there's stairs right here, but let's just, um, for the sake of what we're talking about, um, say that there's no stairs and this is just a gradual elevation with no stairs, right? And this might have stairs there. So, so you know, and again, that's that's for if you're designing for the ultra duper, super duper realistic zoos or whatever like that. If you like that kind, you got to think of that, right? There's, there's a whole bunch of different things you have to think about when designing um, layouts and stuff like that. So um, that's something really big to take away. And the last thing is uh, if you look here, they use rocks. And oh my gosh, we have some amazing rocks in the uh, in Planet Zoo, right? So um, they use these rocks as their natural um, uh, walls and stuff like that. And I think that's a great idea there. Use the rocks we have. So let's go to the next one. Next one here. Um, love this. Love, love, love this. I hope this got built because holy cow, does it look great. And it kind of goes against what we talked about in the first episode of the concept art video there. There was a few concept arts that um, I hinted at or showed that, you know, there wasn't um, a habitat right up against the pathway like this. So this is going a little bit opposite of that now where on both sides you are just crammed in this little alleyway, I, I want to call it, uh, on both sides. But it's really neat because um, you have these uh, rhinos over here and I think tapirs. I think these are tapirs or maybe just straight up anteaters. I'm going to go with tapirs. Um, both of which have, you know, underwater viewing areas. And I think that that's a really cool exception to the, um, you know, to the other design. It's not a rule, right? There's never set rules, but, you know, um, just two different design aspects where the other one kind of had like some greenery in between the habitats. And here you're just right up against it. But you can see they still do have some uh, insert in some room for a little bit of greenery to match the area with these little rocks right here with a little greenery and up here. You have the same thing. So again, it's never just, you know, path habitat right on e each side. There's still a little bit of theming, you know, hinting back to where the animals from. And this is, you know, very Asian inspired. Um, definitely with the temple over here. Use your imagination. What's in there? What's in there? I'm going to say some monkeys. Y'all, y'all with me? There's probably, that's a monkey temple, right? So, um, but yeah, no, just wanted to touch on that there. Very nice concept art. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites, and this actually exists now IRL. This is from the Miami Zoo. Um, not one sure, not sure when it um, fully got built. Um, but yeah, as you uh, you can kind of see, there is a slide going through, and it might be hard to tell because of the pixels here, but it's a otter exhibit. So again, underwater viewing, right? You're in this uh, little room here, it looks like, but what the heck, who, who thought of, you know, and what the heck? I know that uh, there's a hotel in um, Florida, I think Naples maybe, um, called Atlantis that does something similar to this where they have a slide that goes through the dolphin enclosure, but th this is, on a, look at this kid underwater hanging out with the otters. That's that's fantastic. And again, you, um, uh, I'll try to remember to put the picture in here if I can or if I can find it, but I do know that this actually does exist in the real world. They went off and built the thing and it looks almost identical to this, but talk about a unique idea, right? Having a slide come through here. And I'm sure this um, pops out into, you know, the, either the house, like a North American, whatever kind of house, or even like a playground inside, right? So let's go into the next one. Ah, here's one of my, I love these uh, these kind of images here. Um, we had one of them in our other concept art video, if you remember. So you can kind of see here where um, you have different tiers, different layers um, working very, very well together. Not sure what the animals, I think, oh, I see it now. I think these are penguins um, right through here. So you have this really interesting penguin habitat that is, um, it's just a really different, or not different, it's just a weird design almost where you have, um, you, let's say your entrance is right through here. You have this nice viewing area right here, good use of um, some greenery up above and some shade, some natural shade areas. Um, but notice what they do where this is, you know, they, they highlight your viewing areas down here. So 
they block this purposely, put some greenery in front of it, get a nice planter going, even have a nice planter up top here um, to get your uh, top area looking nice as well. But then they have your windows right here, right? So hey, look here. I want you to look here instead of just windows all around. And then if you notice here, um, it goes up and then it kind of goes over. So I just think that's really interesting and, it, and it's blocked right here. So like, nope, I don't want you to look here. I want you to look when you're out here. So having designated specified viewing areas. I tried to do this in Planet Zoo and I hope it does get um, addressed because um, I did have guests kind of looking at brick walls and saying, wow, that black bear is really amazing. Like, oh yeah, how can you tell? <laughs> so I hope that is kind of addressed where if they are looking at a, at a concrete wall or a brick wall that they don't like they don't have super Superman powers and can kind of look through it. But anyways, yeah, I just love the uh, multi layering here because you have, let's see, one, two, three different buildings. I think this is going to be the backstage building for the penguins. But it looks like there's a, another like eatery or something up top here where guests can look out. And then there's another building right here. So just interacting, um, having the zoo interact with itself a whole, whole lot there. It's a great little concept art there. So cool. And then um, we have this. I would think that this, it says the Sacramento Zoo right here, expansion and relocation study it was done about um, a little over a year ago but um, I, I love um, how you get this entire half circle viewing area of the um, the hippo enclosure and that's a heck load of hippos um, but this is like a kind of I, I think you'd put this under like a savanna or um, a safari attraction wouldn't you because you can kind of see it coming across here this awesome bridge here that leads into your safari area and it just kind of goes we got some zebras some ostriches some rhinos some giraffes in the back you have this awesome little um lookout hut which that is a great idea uh, might do something like that you can see the entranceway to it is right underneath the tree right there so and the other safari truck there so almost looks like this is like a holding area for a safari um but you can definitely you can't see where it does it but you can tell that this goes underneath right because you can see this oh you know what it is and i just noticed i thought they were all standing it's an it's a restaurant it's totally a restaurant. If we zoom in on it a little bit, you can see the circular tables and stuff like that. How would you like that to be a restaurant for you? You're just sitting there and all of a sudden a big old boom <laughs> comes up to the windows like, what you eating, Jim? <laughs> so cool. Love that image there. So um, this is a really highly stylized one. Um, I think this would be one of the first renders just to be like, here's our idea. It could look pretty, you know, we're going to over stylize it and over graphic and everything like that. So this would be an early render on, but you can still see that. Um, I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but, um, you can kind of see where they're thinking about like the idea of like what the safety precautions would need to be. If you can see here, if it shows up in the video, there's netting right through here. This otter looks like he's on the other side of the netting, which again, leads me to believe that this is a very early concept, just kind of like, hey, we have this general idea and it looks pretty. Don't you all agree? It's pretty. Um, but the general ideas are there. So this love, love, love the way these otters are hanging out here over this natural um, bridge. You know, this might be a thing. It might be a real thing where this connects over to another um, habitat there. But the way this ties into our underwater viewing, I'm sure you've already been looking at it. I mean, look at this right here. Um, does it make logical sense? No, not completely, because it's a tree root, basically, <laughs> that opens up into a little... Uh, uh, water area, but that's okay. Um, you know, even though zoos are very much so living in the natural world, the, you know, everything is rooted in, again, just natural and biological and, you know, all that stuff, you can still play with it. Still play with your natural surroundings and um, evoke a bit of imagination, right? And that's definitely happening right there, absolutely. So love that image there. Let's go ahead and uh, see what the next one has in store for us. For us. Okay, and here's the last three, and I really liked how this worked out here. Um, these uh, these three are all are the same exhibit, all the same habitat of these uh, this hippo hip hippo hip ho hippo area. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it shows three different shots of it. And um, I think it goes over kind of this whole area very well. And, that, and that's that's another thing I know I touched on it in the first video, but just remember that, you know, when you have animals, um, sure, sometimes they might just be randomly spread around the zoo and like, oh, there's your camel and oh, there's your, you know, wildebeest, whatever. But um, a lot of time when you have, you know, if you have a signature um, animals, maybe you have a few animals put together, you'll have like your Africa area or, you know, here's your elephant habitat. It's a big deal you know same thing here with the hippo like it's a hippo yard and we have a hippo enclosure and a hippo interpretive play area and an upper you know so it's it's an attraction right it, you got to think of it like an attraction and not just oh well here's a path and there's a habitat throw an animal in there okay we're good you gotta like 
I mean, you can. That's absolutely fantastic. Do that. Lovely. Um, but, you know, for a lot of modern or for a lot of zoos, they go into thinking like, okay, we're going to make this entire area the hippo area, right? So we're going to have this, that, and the other thing. All the foliage is going to match where the hippo is from and all that fun stuff. So that's just a really good, um, I think it's a good look at a whole area of an animal. You know, thinking of an animal as an attraction. Um, so there is that. Let's go ahead and move forward. So here's the look at the interpretive um, play area that they had back there. So you can see they have... Um, put in like that little little uh, whoopee bridge I guess the whoopee bridge the whoopee Goldberg bridge the <laughs> You know, just like a kid's play bridge right there. Some um, looks like, it looks like water here, but this is all just, I'm sure, uh, like broken up rubber and stuff that they've compressed into a floor and kind of jump around and stuff like that. So, you know, cool little play area and it's still teaching some conservation, I'd imagine, somewhere for the kids. Next one, here's your full on underground uh, or underground underwater viewing area um, just to kind of give you a sense of where we're at. going to back up two pictures real quick. This is entering in through this way here. So here is our play area right behind. Right. Here is um, coming in through this way. You can kind of see that right there. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's fantastic how they got this nice little shade cover. It's not a full on enclosed building, um, just a nice little um, shade cover that matches the um, the area, the feel, and you know all the plants and rocks and everything. Just touching again, it's all um, in that hippo Africa theme, right? So there's that. No, oh, actually, that was the whole whole dang thing. The whole dang thing. There you go. So yeah, no, there you go, my friends. So that was these are great. I love doing these. So um, hopefully you learned something uh, there for your underwater uh, viewing area has got some inspiration for them there but uh yeah we're gonna go and wrap it up there um i have a few more ideas in the works for some more concept art videos some more um some more uh google maps zoos we have a bunch of zoos lined up for that um what other concept arts would y'all like to see though is there any in particular that you were looking up that you were looking at um something that you would like me to kind of go out and look for uh let me know but yeah um hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out if this is your first time hanging out with us don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button there stay up to date with all the planet zoos zoo design you name it uh videos there and uh yeah hit the like button there helps out the channel helps out the video and i always appreciate it so um yeah i'm gonna get out of here you'll have a good one and until the next one we'll see ya Thanks.